hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is yashika uh, so in the previous video we discussed about the glide aggregate for the count and uh, few functions also so today i'll gonna show you about the trend and uh, group by some minimum average so let's begin with our fixed script so let me open the fix script so meanwhile we'll discuss about at trend what is at trend so at trend is a like a, if we want that on which month how many incidents are updated so we can use the at trend in that so in my previous video i have showed you with the incident table in this video i'm gonna show you with uh, alm asset table okay uh, part two let me save it so let's begin with the scripting part again declaring an object with a new keyword glide aggregate okay aggregate spelling is wrong glide aggregate and table name is alm asset so ga dot add trend this is the syntax of the add trend and let me show you once uh, about the alm asset table to make you understand what we are doing it okay alm asset dot list okay I don't want to leave this page let me make a duplicate page okay it has been opened so now ELM asset dot list yes <clears throat> so what we are doing here we are looking that on which month how many models are updated so we are doing this part in this uh, add trend so for the updated backend name is sys updated on and uh, we are looking for the like month okay and uh, ga dot we are doing the aggregate count ga dot query okay again while ga dot night is quite similar with the uh, like glide record same as that just to accordingly okay so what we are doing first we make a variable count and uh, take the variable of the get aggregate through in account ga dot get aggregate just copy the syntax of the add aggregate in the get aggregate okay so what we are doing now gs.info what we are going to print uh, the updated records are like this is the part of uh, doing the gs info you can do that accordingly like this is a zero and one are the we are uh, passing arrays and we will uh, pass in this braces these arrays respectively as for zero and one so zero are we are going the time reference here for the month so ga dot get value and time reference and in the count we are just giving the count just save it And let's run the fix script. Uh, let's see. It will show result. No, it is showing some error to us. What is the error? Uh, let me run once again. Glide session message was modified by violation. Access rule. ALM asset at trends is updated on. It is updated on. Okay, I don't do any practice before giving sessions, so please cope up with it. 
yes now it is coming like for the month 5 2021 they are 47 updated records and on the march 2022 there are 18 78 and these are the updated records or model category as per the time reference so <clears throat> let's move on to the other part i'll show you uh, today group by also so suppose in this uh, i'll do the group by accordingly to the cost center okay so the backend name of the cost center is cost underscore center so if i do the group uh, by so this is like that okay we have seven records in that so let's do that so it uh, syntax is group by okay and we are doing the group by through the cost center and uh, aggregate count and then we will do the order by also uh, by the same field cost center when we do the group by we have to do the order by also so this is the same and uh, okay let's take one variable and the cost center value also okay so cost center value is uh, how we can get the cost center value we can get the cost center value like uh, um, cost ga dot cost underscore center dot uh, get display value okay so uh, this syntax will get quite change uh, now we will do for the like count it zero and uh, cost center one and we will do this some changes in array also count for the count zero we in array our variable is count and for the cost center we get the value in the cost center oh, i have to remove this m just save it and then run fix script let's see what it will show yes it is coming count double one double six for the cost center customer support let's verify it yeah for the cost center customer support the count is double one double six so in this way you can do the group by uh, now the other methods in the glide aggregate are some average minimum and maximum so for the like uh, cost center engineering the cost is uh, cost field is here okay if i want for the engineering the sum of the field cost so uh, we can do in a similar manner in a very simple way after add aggregate let's add one more add aggregate and with the method sum and uh, for which field we are doing mention the field here for the cost i am doing similarly add one variable cost and uh, ga dot get aggregate and uh, same copy and paste here just to avoid mistakes to the copy paste similarly you can do the average maximum and minimum also and uh, in the gs info part add here cost okay and uh, it is two and here add cost save it and run fix script see count cost center and cost total sum of the cost is coming here if i want uh, for the cost center empty what is the maximum cost so i can do it in the same way ga dot add aggregate and for the maximum the method is max and for i am looking for the cost similarly just do the copy paste and uh, add one variable here like we are doing the maximum okay and ga dot get aggregate and the paste semicolon and add here maximum and put it here three cost and uh, write it here maximum value just save it 
and uh, run fix script proceed yes it is coming count cost center cost center name cost and the maximum cost in uh, the for the cost center sales okay so it is coming accordingly grouped by the cost center <clears throat> so in the similar way you can do the minimum average and uh, like uh, maximum minimum average these are the functions you can do that okay if, uh, okay to uh, for some maximum it is sum and max for minimum you can use min for average you can use avg so in this way you can do that so i hope you like this video if you like it enjoyed it then please hit like share and subscribe uh, have a good day thank you so much